there. And Mama's over here somewhere. I just seen her. Salt blocks on the other side of that tree. She might be over there uh, looking on this. Yep, she is. Let's see if we can get over there without spooking them. Little fawn sees me now. Usually, as long as you don't make any crazy sudden moves, they're cool. What's up, Mama? What's up, Jane? How's salt block? Pretty good. Is that right, girl? Is that right, girl? <laughs> She's like, Yeah, I think I'm going to move on now. pretty much come up here like every single morning <laughs> drink me some coffee see if the deer are out here the most mornings they are i haven't seen them in about three mornings probably i don't know where they've been but i was sitting here and they walked up so i turned on the camera while i'm drinking my coffee mm. oh we gotta get to work Got a million to do. Ugh. We woke up a little early this morning, about uh eight. That's kind of early for us the last week because we've been staying up so late. Last night we went to bed super early. Oh man. So the tree is laying down right over there. There's a trail over there and a valley or whatever you want to call it. The holler somebody told me in the comments that's called the holler but uh anyway it's supposed to rain in a little bit so i'm kind of just gonna work out of the garage leave my trailer here out of the rain and just walk whatever tools that i need at the time I'm gonna just walk them over there that way if it rains i can just grab my couple of tools and bring them back so for right now i guess i'm just gonna walk down there with the big uh Still 032 and uh see if we can trim this uh the bad part of the tree off see what we're gonna do with that and uh then i'm gonna start cleaning up the area a little bit with the blower get trim whatever stuff i gotta trim out of my way and uh just try to do that today um i think it's supposed to rain in about an hour for about an hour then I think we'll get like an hour or so of no rain, but then I think it's supposed to come back and get a good rain later this evening. So uh looks like kind of a chill day. I'm just gonna do what I can, just a few things just to uh, get all this uh, organized for some milling. And uh, I guess maybe we'll, maybe we'll have time to get the, at least the, the saw mill sled set up and leveled and uh yeah that's about what we're doing so this is the part we got to cut off here i could just cut this big part off and let it roll down there and cut it up down there if i wanted to uh i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna see how this milling chain cuts first if it cuts good then I guess I'll go ahead and uh, slice this thing up in pieces, cut it in uh, chunks there. If it doesn't cut too good, I'll just go down there and cut that and be done with it. Let it roll down, I'll deal with it later. I'm ready to get some roof boards milled. And uh, I gotta get a bunch of this stuff out of my way, clean that up, and uh, 
wouldn't mind, it wouldn't hurt to use a dang weed eater and clean some of it, but I'm gonna be milling from this side. So really I'm gonna blow a bunch of this stuff out of the way. Weed eater would, might would be nice there too, so I'm not walking all in that stuff maybe. Goodness, because uh, I am going to be milling, walking down this hill like this as I'm milling. I'm gonna be standing on this hill here, which might work out pretty good. That raises the tree up quite high, so I won't be, uh, shouldn't be bending over as much. But yeah, I gotta take care of all this mess.
if that didn't cut too bad. It was all right. Definitely cutting crooked. I tried to cut that that one straight, and it the bar just kind of. So you can tell it's uh it's a little warped. It uh definitely went sideways. It could be the chain going sideways too. It's a milling chain, but uh thing went all the way down there. So, a couple more cuts here, and, uh, yeah.
Now I want to cut. Yeah. I think the uh, I think the mill and chain is definitely a no no. the patience for that I should have just went ahead and cut it off the milling chain is just uh, not doing it it is uh, just it's just wedging itself in there I guess it's cutting so thin it's just making such a small little slit it's just struggling
mean, that thing rolled oh way down God. there. Holy crap. It's still rolling. <laughs> wow. Well, I gotta say the, uh, the normal cutting chain is a whole lot better. Look y'all, this thing rolled way down there. Like all the way down there. <laughs> it was cool, I could ride the four wheeler down there to get it. But uh, is that it? I don't even know if I'm showing it in the camera. Yep, there it is, I see it. I think that's it right there. Where is it? Where is it? All right, that looks good enough to me. That saw definitely cut way better than that milling chain. And uh, that looks pretty clean. Thunder stopped. Man, that thunder lasted like 20 seconds, it seemed like. Well, check that out. I got a little bit cleaned up. Uh, Cutting them little trees down out of my way and dragging some of this brush. Oh my God, I have so much freaking clean up on this dang property. I got stuff everywhere I got to clean up. I don't even know how I'm going to clean all this stuff up with just myself. I have no idea. It's going to take forever. But uh, anyway, dang, look at this thing. I need to put something under there. Look at that. This thing's just hanging I might need to get my uh, jack maybe and maybe jack up a spot and sit it on a log. Huh. Sit, put something under there to hold it up. Because if you mill this when, when it's bowing, you'll have serious bows in your wood. So I got to figure this out how I'm going to... Uh, I need something maybe in here somewhere to just hold this up. So, that's another thing I got to do before I start milling and set up the sled. And now I got rain. I give up. I think I give up for today. It's unmotivating when you hear that and you know what's coming and you're just like... <sighs> kind of like, why did I even come out here and break a sweat? Now I gotta take me a rain bath. <laughs> I don't know if it's my eyes or that thing is covered up. I am a little colorblind. I have problems with uh, green and red together and probably other colors, but I do not see that red wedge anywhere. I just seen it. I just seen the thing not long ago. It was laying there and then now that I'm looking for it, I cannot see that thing. I can see the yellow ones all day long, but I do not see that red wedge. Let me know if you see it in the comments, y'all, because I don't see it. I do not see that thing at all. And it's red, pretty bright red. I don't know, it might be more like a brown red. Huh. And grab that before I leave that out here. I don't like leaving my wood handles out in the rain. What the heck, y'all? It was like right here somewhere. Wow. just like this which I had another uh, yellow one too it might have went down with the dang log or something <laughs> what the heck I'm pretty oh well I have two big ones so I do have the big one I know that was another red one for sure
when it fell out the log, it was literally just laying here. Wow. Oh, did you hear that? Well, I guess I ain't gonna worry too much about it right now. Let me see, let me know if y'all see it anywhere in the video. In the comments, let me know if y'all see that red wedge anywhere. If you've seen it since I've been recording this, because... I'm trying to focus everywhere, and I am not seeing it. Could be covered up. They do get covered up sometimes by leaves, but uh, I feel like I'm just not seeing it because I know it was just laying on top. Unless that log rolled over it, and I don't know. Dang. This is a trail down here I've been uh, riding through. Made me a trail right here. Wow, I did not see that wedge. Anyway, and that log rolled all the way down the trail, all the way down there. Pretty long thunders. It's here. So, uh, that's the hole up there that I packed today before I uh, went out in the woods to work. I patched that hole because last time it poured like this, it was coming from that hole leaking down this log and dripping right on the bed. So it just got the whole dang bed soaked. So uh, hopefully, if it don't get too windy, uh, maybe the tarp will actually stay on and not blow off. And uh, maybe we'll stay dry. We'll see, hopefully. We have a couple other shelters, so uh, we'll be all right no matter what. Just don't know about my stuff. Cause the tarp up here is keeping my stuff dry. So, but anyway, here it is. Here it is. the rain stop and uh we got us a p.o box opening done today for the chris and holly show and uh that's about all we accomplished uh it rained for i guess a couple hours made us some dinner our uh our veggie dinner 100% veggie dinner, I should say. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, it looks like I checked the weather. It looks like it's supposed to rain for a couple hours in the morning. I think like 10 and 11, something like that. So probably up till noon. So uh, I'm really hoping we're going to get us some, some boards milled tomorrow. So 
we'll see how it goes you know day like today it seemed like uh seems like one of them days where everything went wrong i mean besides the p.o box that was cool but uh seemed like the milling chain really sucked for cross cutting then i was just uh fumbling everything the little saw was getting stuck uh and wedged and uh binding up whatever you want to call it that was a struggle uh but that uh that's where that patience thing comes in you know what i mean where you know sometimes if you take take the time to you know maybe go put a normal chain on the saw that might take 10 minutes you know put a good chain on there cross cutting chain for cross cutting or bucking uh it probably would have saved me a lot of time to actually just go ahead and take the 20 or 30 minutes to make that happen and then it probably would have made my cutting a lot easier <laughs> rather than uh oh let's try it let's just be lazy and not change out the chain and just try a milling chain bucking logs see if it works you know but uh hey i tried it so at least i know not to do that anymore that did not work out great at all it cut good for a couple minutes like one or two cuts it did all right but then after that it was just so dull it just kept just digging in the wood and stopping and catching and so oh yeah i guess that's why uh i ain't gonna say that but anyway guess we'll get back in it tomorrow i guess i'm just gonna make this a little short video i don't know i don't even know how much footage i have but we'll see i guess i'm gonna sit here by the fire and uh edit a short videos throw up and then uh hopefully tomorrow we'll actually get it all cleaned up get the uh the mill rail set up and actually uh get us some boards cut that would be really good that'd be really good i feel like it's been forever since i was working on the cabin i feel like it's been i feel like it's been longer than it has i think but, uh, anyway, well, so I'll see y'all later. God bless y'all. One really, uh, cool thing about today is it's been really cool. It's been really, uh, cool outside. had not been hot at all. So I've really been enjoying this fire today. Keeping my feet by it. Nice and warm.